Maan, kamusta ang sitwasyon dyan? Yes, Bob. Since 1 o'clock in the afternoon, we've been experiencing violent winds and intense rainfall here in Vincent Camarines Norte. Right now, we are staying inside a concrete house, but the rice fields in our vicinity are already flooded. Provincial Disaster Risk Reduction and Management officials said they were shocked by the might of Typhoon Ulysses. Some of them even said that this is the strongest typhoon they have experienced after a very long time. Provincial Incident Commander Attorney Don Calvera explained that they only felt moderate winds during Super Typhoon Raleigh. But come Typhoon Ulysses, trees that survived the Super Typhoon and Kinsa have been uprooted. Some electricity posts along the road were also toppled by the strong winds brought by the typhoon. The PDRRMO has reported one casualty so far from the town of Daet, while three fishermen are still missing. We were able to talk to their family who shared that they were expected to return from fishing yesterday. The Coast Guard has already notified its substations for a search and rescue operation if the weather permits. But as of now, around 9,000 individuals have been transferred to safer areas. All of the households across the province of Camarines Norte are now experiencing a power outage. Bok? Well, Maan Pagasa says that uh, this storm, Ulysses, Typhoon Ulysses, will not be as strong as uh, Super Typhoon Rolly, pero mas maulan daw, mas matindi raw ang ulan. So how's it looking there dun sa pagdating sa ulan? You're right, uh, Bok. Right now, we're experiencing experiencing torrential rain sa katabay nung malakas na hangin. And yung palayana dito sa kinatatayuan namin right now, nagmistula ng dagat, Bok, and uh, tumatawid na yung tubig dito sa mismong main road. So, yung uh, yung rains daw na dala nito, eh, ngayon lang daw talaga nila ulit naranasan according to the PDRRMO officer that we were uh, we spoke to earlier, Bok. Okay, mag-ingat kayo dyan and try to find a place na may second floor.